if we get two <laughs> likes and 100 views and maybe two comments on why he should be high and do a podcast then we'll do it <laughs> we're gonna have to drive to colorado for that no bro i got connections <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Reese um, at Reese Records and this is our first podcast and this is what right here. <clears throat> um, this is our first podcast so I hope we don't offend anybody or uh, get on anybody's nerves. So uh, yeah, mate, you, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Wal, <laughs> Willie Chow. <laughs> yeah, last grand boy. Anyways, today is, I'm just here randomly I guess. I don't know what to expect. I don't expect anything, but this podcast is going to be really random. And I have no idea what's going on as of right now. So something, whatever happens, happens. So let's get it. You should get a little closer to the mic. Like this? <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> so they can hear a bit more. You want to start over again? or? My light just went off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run to Home Depot real quick, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm sure anybody that started their first ever podcast or whatever, they always going to struggle. It might not be a light situation, but it could be an audio situation, a recording situation, um, you know, technical difficulties <clears throat> and stuff like that. The garage, my mom's garage. <laughs> Ooh, that's bright. Oh, oh. So everybody, I just got back from Home Depot and um, Cousin Lights. You can definitely see us better now. <laughs> definitely. Definitely better. <clears throat> Does it sound better now? What? It sounds better now? Yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. So um, for this first podcast, I did ask a couple of people um, to ask me questions on Instagram. And um, right now, I'm going to be answering them. And I also promised them a shout out, so... Shut and up. like a couple of these questions might not apply to my friend here, but yeah, we can translate that to um, yeah, <laughs> we can definitely translate that to a cinematic, yeah, because he's more into videos and I'm more into music, so yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so first question is from Ta Ta Ta. All right, <clears throat> um, her question is, how did you get into music? Uh, my answer to that one is there wasn't a thing that triggered me getting into music. It was just all my life I've always been into music, you know, like it's like I was born with it. So, yeah, it's nothing really like magically happened. And like all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm into music. No, nah, it's more like music, 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 and then music, 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 music. <laughs> I think everybody was basically born with music. I mean, think about it. When we first came out of our mother's womb, we just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's music, you know? So, uh, um, translating that into cinematic, uh, what, what what made you get into, like, videos? Yeah. yeah. Uh, videos? I don't know. It's, I mean, I've always uh, wanted to tell stories, mm. and it might not be like, for me, it might not be like, uh, like telling it through music, you know, or art, you know, like drawing, painting. Mm. I don't know anything about those things, but um, uh, when it comes to like filming and vlogging, I do know some basic things. You know, I don't want to say I'm really, really good at it or anything, but professionals. I, I say I'm okay. You know, I'm a, I'm Noobs. all right. Not like I'm not that good, good, but. I'm okay, you know, and I know some basic things about it. And to be honest, that's all you need is to um, know the basic things. And it, as long as you know how to tell stories, I think it will be inspired to watch. Word, word. Yeah. Thank you, Todd, for the questions. And the next question is going to be from <clears throat> um, Isa. Isa asked, when did you start singing? I like your voice, by the way. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the question, Isa. And um, I don't like his voice. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer your question, Isa, um, I've started singing when I was, I say, 
around um, eight or nine. Like when I was in Thailand, I remember like me singing for um, church a lot. Um, back then, for sure, my voice was very crispy. My voice was like crisp, 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 crisp like <laughs> crispy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and then puberty hit, and then this is what you're hearing now. <laughs> very deep. Yeah. Damn, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how this would apply to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never started you? saying it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, okay, so, um, I guess, when did you start vlogging? Uh, I started vlogging um, <clears throat> after I got my heartbreak, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't... It was Ching more like... Wong, ling <laughs> <laughs> ding dong <laughs> it was uh i just it, it, I, I don't want to say like vlogging vlogging it's more of like i was just traveling and like recording random clips here and there and just ended up putting it together like as a travel vlog and after that i just kind of fall in love with vlogging and end up m- making it uh, going lean towards more more of it and then getting a little bit more better at it i'm not like that good like i said but as of right now, you know, I'm okay. Mm. And I know it's the basic things about vlogging and telling stories. So, you know, it's okay. Word, word. Thank you, Isa, for the question. All right, next is going to be from Shasso. I love this girl. This this girl asks the most amazing questions. And she's really fun to talk to, too. Um, she asked me about five questions. So, let's keep the answers short for this one. Wow. <laughs> Um, so first question is what, what are the biggest, okay, I think she mean, what's your biggest failure and what did you learn from it? Ooh, let me think. <laughs> this guy got no failures, <laughs> all success, <laughs> all gains. That's no not losses, true, is <laughs> I just don't know what's considered as a failure. Like, what would you okay? What would you consider as a failure? Me, my failure. Mm. My failure would be, uh, <laughs> as in like, filming or vlogging or, or uh, in big, general. Your biggest failure. <laughs> That's failure. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my biggest. I told you, like this kind of question is kind of hard. I read it over. I mean, it it really depends on what failure really means because for me like if many people looks at it like i never completed college and that might con- mm. that might be like a failure to somebody to sure but you know i mean whatever if it's a f- if that's a failure that's a failure but to me even though that can consider be a failure but at the same time to me it's also a blessing it's something a lesson that i learned that i get out of and become a better yeah. person you know yeah we all like we all have like different routes to take and so like we Sometimes, you know, some lanes aren't just for us. Anyway, um, my biggest failure would be, I I think it would be that one um, competition that I joined. <laughs> Which one? At um, Current TV, the second song, the rap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Current number one TV, yeah. Yeah, um, so I did write the rap and everything, and I did post it, and I didn't make a video. The video was horrible. <laughs> Don't even look at the video. It was it's, good. I'd say it was decent. No, bro, it was cringy. No. Really, really cringy. It was okay, man. <laughs> yeah. Question number two. Mm-hmm. What are the best resources that helped you along your way? Music. Um, I would say the music piano. I mean, yeah, I said music piano. I meant to say piano lessons that my dad took me through. He wanted me to play for church. And I, and I am playing in church right now. But my weakness is that um, I never really continued on the note, like, sides of it. So, like, if I, I can't, like, play on the spot. However, I did translate all that knowledge, all the keys, all the uh, chords, all the scales into music production. And then that have helped me so much. Like, I, like, without it, <laughs> the music that I make would not be this good because... I probably have to like draw in like MIDI notes from notes. So, all right, number three. Who are the three people that have been the most influence influential to you? Um, I'd have to say my dad. Second one would have to be my friend right here. I don't know. We just we just kind of vibe, you know. Damn, so my dad, 
watch all and um honestly i don't know i don't know another one i i don't have friends okay i'm a loner <laughs> um question number four if you could have a billboard with one thing on it what would it be and why billboard billboard like billboard, billboard you're like, you know like when you drive mm -hmm. and you see like a yeah a little sign on the side yeah if you could have it on like what what would you have it i would probably say it's it would probably for me it would probably say it's spread love and peace that's probably my biggest takeaway and the biggest thing that i support and i push for is to spread love and peace <clears throat> bob marley you smoke with you you smoke with you yeah. Got another Bob Marley here. Um, Asian, Asian Bob Marley. <laughs> Asian Bob Marley. <laughs> no, I don't want to be Bob Marley. I just want to be me, Lost Grand Boy. <laughs> Lost Grand Boy forever. <clears throat> All right. What I would have on the sign would be like probably the same thing. Like my friend here. <laughs> don't Spread copy love. me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Copyrights. <laughs> he owns that. <laughs> he owns that stuff. Okay. Uh, you got it. Now I'm going to sue you. And the money that I get from you, I'm going to give it to poor people. <laughs> going to donate it to kids. <laughs> I mean, at least you do something good about it. You, <laughs> yeah. You're probably going to get about $300, though. Because <laughs> that's all I have. <laughs> In my background, I spent so much stuff on the studio. Um, I don't know. I never really thought about it. So Music is maybe, life. Maybe, yeah. Like, maybe just have my name on it. Like, subscribe <laughs> to Reese Records. <laughs> subscribe. Come watch videos. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Um <clears throat> what's something people tend to misunderstand about you? You go first. Me? Misunderstand about you or me? Misunderstand <laughs> about you, like me? yourself. Oh, um I think for some people um they think that I'm I don't know. I mean, when I was traveling, I a lot of people took me as I was this guy who has a lot of money or whatever you know uh because i was always traveling and always doing things and going places you know but so people always thought like oh how can i afford all these travels and get away and do all these things and go to all these places you know and doing what i was doing but you know that's one of the misconceptions that people took of me it's like i'm not i'm not rich you know i'm not even wealthy or you know anything i i mean i'm just like regular person just like everybody else you know who works at you know daily job regular job mm. but i had a plan when i was traveling so um i worked towards that i was saving up money and then i travel you know and even when i was traveling i was traveling cheap but i had that uh courage to continue to travel to make my money's worth and last as long as it can traveling cheaply you know frugally not spending money on dumb things so yeah that's why he's not in europe <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why he's I'm in, in southeast asia, asia. In southeast asia uh, what <laughs> what your keys yeah. i don't know where they are <laughs> <laughs> somebody came into the room and asked where their keys i don't know where the keys are. i think your keys are hung up on the wall thank you sasho for the question wait <laughs> Did I answer the question? <laughs> no. What was the question? Huh? What was the question? <laughs> Something that people mistook. Uh, oh, mi oh, okay, 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 or whatever. Okay. Yeah. If we get two <laughs> likes and 100 views and maybe two comments on why he should be high and do a podcast, then we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to drive to Colorado for that. <laughs> no, bro. I got connections. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I guess... They mistake me as this untalkative, quiet person. I mean, like, I agree on the fact that I'm kind of an introvert, for um, for sure. You're not kind of, you are an introvert. <laughs> I think I'm kind of introvert. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's fine with me. Because <laughs> I'm like, I, I could, like, for sure, like, keep a conversation, keep a conversation going. But, like, it takes... Just a little bit of time, you know, for me to, like, know the vibe of the other person. And um, I'm not that kind of person that would talk to you first unless we... Unless have you're really, really pretty <clears throat> and 
fine. Actually, no. Especially, <laughs> especially if you're attractive. I don't talk to you. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> but if you're kind of <laughs> this guy's lying big time. <laughs> if you if you look okay, I might approach you. <laughs> <laughs> if you look okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't approach anybody. But if you look all. more than better than okay, he's gonna run straight to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I hit you up on Facebook. <laughs> What's your email address? Person? <laughs> What's your school loop? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Yeah. I just like they take me as this antisocial person, and I'm really not. I'm. I'm kind of like <clears throat> just doing your own thing, you know. Yeah. Just minding your own business, living your own life. <clears throat> You're not feeling obligated to have to be around a lot of people. You know, uh, you're okay with being alone, but when you are around other people, other friends, you know, that's okay too, you know. You just know how to enjoy being mm. alone and also enjoy being with others. So. Yeah, and being independent is definitely a good thing, a good skill to have. Cause yes, sir. <laughs> people aren't always going to be there. So. Yes, sir. All right. Next, uh, thank you, Sasho, for all the questions that you asked us. Um, it definitely gave us things to think about, for sure. So, yeah. <laughs> Next question is going to be from our friend, Reborn Z7. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real name, but <clears throat> how old were you when you were interested in making beats? Um, Ooh. I'd say uh, my freshman year. I started using, um, I started using... <laughs> getting me going here <laughs> i started using um yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i started getting this apple studio um the demo version and i just oh yeah i, I, I remember got into i remember it. those days <laughs> the FL studio it. yes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, i remember i think we, we used to make like um <clears throat> like cover and shit like that, that that's yeah were you using GarageBand at that time or was it fl studio? that was actually garage band fl yeah. studio was before i moved before you moved from yeah, where? To Kansas. So you were in the... I was still in Missouri when um, I was using... No, I swear you were... We were using FL Studio at some point. Before you got your Apple. What? Do you have a tennis ball? No. My keys outside with the car. A tennis ball? You left your keys in the car? Yeah. You know, that's the only keys we have. So you can do that little thing? Yeah. Uh, tennis ball? This is the most okay, that entertaining doesn't sound like podcast this. in the history what? of Lost Grand Boy. See, it's, I need it. I have to go to the laundry. If I can't go to the laundry. No, it's not that. It's yellow, first of all. Second of all, I need to go to the laundry. We're going to move on with the questions here. Um, so I got into like making beats around when I was probably 12, 13. So, yeah. When he I, was thanks, ready bro. to fall in love. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> One of the inspirations to make beat. <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah. I like you. Yeah. Yeah, you're so fine, girl. Yeah. I want you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next question is from Bablu. What's your biggest achievement and what is one of your downfall? My biggest achievement is probably just um, every time I put beats out there has to be one of my biggest achievements. Honestly, but do you want to like come back again tonight and do another podcast like just speak your mind because obviously yeah. i love this man yeah this i is really fun. like this yeah i don't mind yeah i'm done okay so this is gonna be it for the first podcast so um, yeah. i hope you stay tuned for the second podcast i don't know what it's gonna be about yet but i hope something interesting to you um yeah so that's it and um Come back next time to keep watching. Um, Peace out. Thank you. Peace out. King shit. Have a good day. <laughs> you still remember that stuff? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the rules, man. Yeah.